About a week ago, um, I saw a piece in Facebook listed by Sam Roberts. Sam Roberts I knew from CBS News and then New York Times Television. And it was a photograph of Sam with somebody who changed my life and taught me some really basic rules about video storytelling that I want to tell to you, okay? Um, shortly after I left CBS to do God knows what I was doing, um, I got approached by a man named Reese Schoenfeld. Reese had been the first president of CNN for 10 years. And after he left CNN, he was given a job at, at Time Warner that owns CNN, uh, various projects and whatever came along. And one project he was working on was the creation of a 24-hour business channel for Time Warner. And it was gonna be called Twins, Time Warner News Service. And they're gonna follow the stock markets around the world. Eight hours in Tokyo, eight hours in New York, eight hours in London, and not a bad idea. To sell the concept, because it takes about $500 million to get one of these things started, to sell the concept and free up the money from Time Warner, uh, Reese was given the job of making a little demonstration video that could be showed to the board. And he needed like a five or seven minute video of a sense of what the channel would be. You know, anchors and music and graphics and all that stuff and three business stories. So Reese called me up and he said, I want you to do a business story for this project. I want you to go to Bahrain and I want you to do a story about the oil business. I'm like, great, he said. And then he said, I want you to use the best cameraman in Europe. His name is Mario Biasetti. This happens to be the guy in Sam Roberts' picture. So I said, fine. So he lived in, he lived in Rome. So I flew to Rome and I met Mario. And as you can see from the picture, he was this little Italian cinematographer, you know, with the beret and all this other stuff. And I thought, great, you know, best cinematographer in Europe, this will be exciting. And so the two of us flew off to Bahrain and I had gotten a one day shooting permit from the Emirate of Bahrain. They're very strict over there. He gave me 12 hours to shoot on one day in Bahrain, which is plenty because I had to make, you know, a one minute 20 package about the oil business in Bahrain. So um, we got to Bahrain and I went to the five star hotel, the time one was paying for. And the next morning we got up very early and we went down to the waterfront. Um, and uh, of course the sun is just coming up and, and oil tankers are going in and the little Arab uh, sailboats are going out and the Muzain is going, Allah Akbar, you know, uh, it was lovely. And as a producer, I thought, I like that, I like that, I like that, I like that, you know. And Mario, I looked at Mario, and Mario had this giant beta cam on a big tripod, and uh, he wasn't shooting anything. Instead of recording anything, he was standing next to the camera going like this, you know. We call this the Hollywood Square, it's like this. Then you pick up the camera, he'd move it a couple of feet this way and look at it again. Pick up the camera, move it a couple of feet this way and look at it again. And I thought, okay, you know, the guy's Italian cinematographer, this is how he works. So, but after about 20 minutes, he still hadn't shot anything. So I said, Mario, Mario, come on, let's go, Mario. We gotta go, we got a whole day. Roll tape, Mario. And he turned to me and he said, calma, just like that, calma. So I thought, okay, but you know, a half hour and he still was, Fussing around like this. I said, Mario, come Mario, come on, man. Roll tape, Mario. And Mario just turned to me, kept going, calma, calma, just like that. Finally, after about a half hour of moving the camera, and doing this, doing this, he finally got to the point where he hit the record button. He rolled off about 20 seconds of footage. <coughs> and then he stopped, picked up the camera, dragged it 40 feet down the waterfront and began to do this again. Like this, like this, like this. Never rolling, very rarely rolling tape constantly measuring and looking and calm. And so I said, Mario, roll tape, Mario. Come on, Mario, roll tape. Come on, Mario, we gotta go, we got a big day. He looked at me and goes, calm on, like that, calm on. So all day long, no matter where we went, we went to the offloading platform, we went to the oil fields, we went to the ministry, we went everywhere we went in Bahrain. I was yelling at him, roll tape, Mario. He refused to roll tape until he had exactly right, the perfect shot. And the upshot was that after 12 hours of shooting, he had shot one 20 minute cassette. And that was it. The permit was over, the day was over, the sun went down, and I was finished. Finished in most ways, because now I had to go back to Reese Schoenfeld, the founder and former president of CNN, and tell him that I had spent all their money, $30,000 between Mario's fee and the airfare and the hotels and the meals and the translators and the cars. And all I shot was 20 minutes. What kind of moron, I, what kind of moron does that? On the flight back, I was just beside myself because I thought here was a chance to get into the, you know, the, the ground floor of a whole new CNN and I'd be the number one hire. And, and he, the guy, this Mario, had just wrecked the whole thing because he's so stupid with his 
Kalma, 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 and he never rolled tape. So, I mean, I don't know, you know, I went home and I knew I, knew I screwed the thing up. I mean, I, I would fire myself if I did this. And it wasn't fair because Mario was responsible, but, I, you know, so I, the next day I went to see Reese Schoenfeld at, at, at Time Warner's headquarters and it was on 6th Avenue. And Reese was a very big guy. And I walk in and, and he goes, how did it go? Like that. I go, it's terrible. Mario's an idiot. I don't know what you sent him. You know, he never rolled tape. It just goes this all day long. And all I got is this one 20 minute tape. So Reese goes, Have you looked at the tape? And I go, I haven't looked at the tape because he didn't bring a playback deck, another stupidity. And so I don't even know what it looks like, but believe me, I'm sorry. I've tried. And he goes, Let's look at the tape. Right. So he put the tape in the deck. Every shot was perfect, <coughs> beyond perfect. Stunning, breathtakingly beautiful. It's as though, you know those coffee table books with beautiful pictures, one after the next. It's as though we had that. And every shot was just spectacular. I mean, stunningly beautiful. One after the next, after the next. And the hardest thing to do here was to just pull out a minute 20 out of 20 minutes, which I did. But I learned a really important lesson then. And that is calma. When you go out to shoot your stories, calm down shooting video and particularly television news is filled with hysteria you gotta get that you gotta get that you're gonna miss that you're gonna miss that you gotta get that in point of fact when it comes to airing you're only going to cut a minute or two you're going to miss almost everything so most of your shooting is a total waste of time instead calm down think take time and think and only get perfect shots only perfect shots because if you get shots that less than perfect then you have two choices Either you put it in the film, in which case you wreck the film, or you don't put it in the film, in which case shooting it was a waste of time. So thanks, Sam Roberts, for posting the picture, and thank you, Mario, for teaching me one of the most important lessons I ever learned, and that lesson is calma.